to another YouTube video. Today I am going to be doing the seamstress tag, um, which to be honest with you is not a tag that I ever even heard of or considered doing, but I was tagged by Miss Mary Morning to do this tag, and so I shall. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting at my sewing machine with various stuff that I didn't finish yesterday. All of my sewing things are up here. So this is where I do most of my sewing on this machine because it's a tank and it can handle almost anything and I just love it. So I have a tablet today instead of a piece of paper which is unusual for me because I'm all high tech now and shit apparently. I have the questions here. Okay, question number one. Who are you? I don't really understand what that has to do with sewing. Um, but as most of you know, I am Missy, or Miss E, as I go by on the internet. Um, and I am the creator of crazy, outrageous fashions, whatever people want. I'll make people whatever they want if they bring me pictures, but my, my brain tends toward sort of rock star paraphernalia, like, you know, leather pants with lots of buckles and rivets and, you know, the kind of shit that Rob Zombie wears. So I am creator of outfits for stage performers and also outrageous fashion. When and why did you start sewing? Well, I always wanted to learn to sew. Uh, my grandmother sewed, but unfortunately she died when I was about 12 or 13, so I didn't get the chance to learn from her. And we didn't have any fashion classes or anything at my high school, so I kind of just like dicked around and sort of self-taught myself for a little bit when I was younger, which was terrible. Like you make these, these terrible projects because you have no idea how fabrics work together, what kind of needles you need or any of that. Um, I did take proper sewing classes in university through the, the theater department. I went into the costume shop and took some proper sewing classes there. Um, but after I left there, that was when I really learned to sew. I met a girl named Scary Carrie and we do what we call uh, rogue sewing where we just sew like whatever we want all the time, like no patterns, because if you sew from patterns, if you have this crazy idea in your head and there's no pattern for it, you're screwed, right? So I kind of learned to sew outside the box and I just make things based on either actual pictures or like ideas that are in my head and I just, we just figure out a way to make them and um, I work with unusual materials because I find that people who are an unusual size, like myself, I'm very tall, um, or my partner is plus size, or people who are very short or have like very big boobs or something like that that's unusual and you don't fit into standard small, medium, larges, it can be very frustrating. So that's part of the reason I started sewing is because nothing fits me correctly. Like if I go to a store, none of the clothes there fit me correctly. So I learned to sew so that I can make things that fit me properly and are more interesting than, you know, your standard stuff that you can buy at the mall or whatever, because I don't wear that stuff, so. Question three. What is your favorite or proudest make? Um, that's hard for me to say. I've made a lot of stuff that I'm very proud of. Uh, probably one of my most recent things that I've made that I thought was fucking epic was uh, my birthday dress that I made myself for my birthday last year, which hopefully we can put a picture on the screen right here through technological magic. You should be able to see it right now. Um, but I've also made, well, I've made a lot of stuff that I'm actually really proud of. I have a, mostly stuff for myself because um, I'll put all the time and all the effort and all the, you know, expense in the world into making stuff for myself because I don't, I don't have to sell it. So when someone comes to me for a custom project, it's more based on, you know, budget and timeline and stuff than things that I'm just making, like, for the fuck of it. So. What is your most disastrous make? I honestly don't know. I've had a lot of things in my life that didn't turn out because that's how you learn, right? You fuck something up, you learn from it, you move forward. But, um, I haven't, I haven't made anything that's a total disaster in a really long time. So I would probably have to say a few of the things that I made when I first started sewing that like, I didn't know what I was doing. So they obviously didn't turn out. I would say those were pretty disastrous, but obviously the farther you go along, the more you progress, the better your stuff is. Question five. Where is your favorite place to go fabric shopping? Well, luckily I work in a plaza that has a fabric store in it, so I'm there most frequently. Um, they have almost everything I need. Sometimes when I need specialty stuff, like I have to go to Toronto, there's like a whole strip of fabric stores that I like to go to there. But uh, generally, Lens Mill is, is pretty good for most of the things I need. 
Question six, what is your most used pattern? Well, as I said, I don't actually use patterns like at all. Um, and I very rarely make more than one of something because everything that I make is a custom project for a certain person, mostly like stage performers and stuff. So I don't keep making the same dress over and over and over to sell it, you know? Like people come to me and they'll be like, make me this crazy spandex alien unitard. And I'll be like, all right, let's do that. You know, or make me this giant Elizabethan neck ruff. All right, let's do that. But I very rarely have occasion to make more than one of them. So, and there are no patterns for most of the, for actually all of the shit that I make. So question seven, your most dreaded sewing task is dot, dot, dot. I would say the thing that I dread the most is when people come to me and don't give me a lot of time. Like when I have to rush through stuff, it stresses me out a fucking lot. That's right. I'm looking at you, Troy Boy Entertainment. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It does stress me out to make stuff in a hurry and Troy is notorious for that, but he's really good to me. And you know what, when I see it on stage in the end, like when I go to his shows and you see what you've made up on stage and that the performer appreciates it, the audience appreciates it, it makes it all worthwhile. It's just a little stressful in the, in the making process. Question eight, your favorite sewing task is I would say my favorite sewing task is making really large scale projects for myself because I can make a exactly what I want, not what anyone else wants. And it's my chance to make huge gigantic projects that I don't usually get a call to make in like for my, for my customers or for my friends. Um, so they're really grand scale things. It's not just a dress. Like this year, actually for my birthday, I'm going to make myself like a dress with a matching corset, with a matching bra, with a matching posture collar, with a matching neck ruff and a matching headpiece. And it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. And there probably isn't going to be someone who comes to me and asks for that. Right? So this is my chance to make it for me and make it huge. All right. What is your favorite sewing entertainment? I would say same thing. I would say making really huge projects that come together and make people go, wow, when they see them, right? Like something that is just like a really epic scale spectacle dress. It doesn't entertain me always when I'm making it. Sometimes I get really frustrated and swear a lot at it, but it's, it's very cool overall to be able to make stuff like that. Question 10, printed or PDF? Neither actually, because as I said, I don't use patterns. So neither. All right. Question 11, the very last question, what sewing machine do you use? Well, as I said before, this is my sewing machine. It is a Sears Kenmore, I believe from approximately the 1950s or sixties. Um, it's all metal. I hate plastic sewing machines. I would never buy a new sewing machine. Like when you can buy from a store today, fuck that noise. I like the old ones. They're simple. They've got a lot of power behind them. And you know, I don't need a sewing machine that makes me a sandwich and like washes my face and does all that fancy shit. I just need a sewing machine that's got a lot of power behind it because I do a lot of like heavy, like leather sewing and like corset making. And I need a sewing machine that like just sews, just sews. That's all I needed to do. Simple things. I don't need embroidery and all that shit. I go to other places to have that done. So yeah, here it is my sewing baby. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you learned a little bit more about my sewing process from it. And if you did, if you could please give it a thumbs up, I would very much appreciate it. And also if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm under Madame Absinthe, Madame underscore Absinthe. Same thing on Twitter, which is actually where I talk about a lot of my sewing projects is on Twitter and also swear loudly about them sometimes. But anyways, um, yeah, so please like, please subscribe, and hopefully I will be able to make more videos for you shortly.